least I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me down. Jesus, I'll never forget no never. How can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? How can I forget no never? Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Yes, you want to give thanks unto the Lord? For he is good and his mercy endureth forever. We certainly want to welcome everyone to our Wednesday night Bible study. Amen. Amen. We want to welcome Glenn. Amen. Amen. And we certainly uh, praise God and give him thanks for all things that he has done. Amen. Amen. Truly, if it had not been, I know we say it often, uh, but, you know, it's not a cliche. But if it had not been for the Lord on our side. There's no telling where we would be. Amen. Amen. We thank him for bringing us through dangerous toils and, and snares Amen. and keeping us alive unto this day. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we certainly want to remember uh, Elder Tony Ratcliffe. Uh, he had went to the, the hospital today at the VA because uh, he's dealing with, uh, uh, he doesn't know exactly what it is, but maybe a form of pneumonia, bronchitis or something, you know, so um, uh, let us pray for him, that the Lord will bless him, uh, let us pray for Denise, Sister Denise, that the Lord will bless her and her family, and uh, any other particular prayer requests. My brother? Pray for the brother, it's Jackie, he's not feeling very well. All right, we'll certainly pray for her. All right, my brother? Let's ask for a prayer for yeah. Continue to pray for one another. Pray for you and the first family. Yeah. And uh, service to them. Amen. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. If there be none other requests, then we'd like to ask the church to stand. Thank you, Lord. We certainly thank God for our Mother David's being in our midst. Amen. Amen. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being our help, our very present help in the time of trouble and in the time of need. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to wake up this morning. You started us on our way, but our hearts and our minds stayed on thee. We ask you, Lord, that you bless our Bible study on tonight. Let something be said and done to encourage us and inspire our hearts in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known. We ask you, Lord, that you bless uh, Elder Ratcliffe, Lord, and, and Sister White. And, Lord, bless our families and our children. And, Lord, keep us in the center of your will. And, Lord, we be uh, mindful of thee and worthy of thee that you will help us in the name of Jesus. And bless our Bible study. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. All right. As we have been continuing on in our Bible study, uh, I've handed you out the uh, bishop notes, you know, and the kind of outline and thoughts of our Bible study. And uh, tonight, uh, we want to talk about uh, being heirs with Christ. Amen. Being heirs with Christ and really what that means really what that means to be an heir with Christ. And um, uh, our foundational scriptures is uh, in the book of Romans, in the book of Romans. Amen. If you can go to Romans chapter number 8, and we'll drop down uh, to verse number 12. And Romans is a really unique book uh, in the sense that uh, it, it outlines uh, 
the character of man and um, what we, uh, how the Lord has positioned us. It talks about, uh, it talks about sin, condemnation. It talks about how we were condemned, yeah. amen, through what Adam and Eve did to us and passed on through us. Yeah. Then it talks about justification, yeah. how we were made righteous through Christ. Amen. Those things are important. Yeah. And then it talks about uh, sanctification, how we are to live a, a separate life apart from sin, yeah. apart from evil deeds and evil actions, to live a righteous life. Yeah. Then it talks about uh, our future, glorification. Hallelujah. How if we, we do these things, we follow after the Lord, accept him as our Lord and Savior live according to his word, then we'll be justified. Amen. I mean, I mean glorified. Yes. Amen. When Jesus comes back. Amen. That's what we're living for. Yes. Amen. Right now, the return of Christ. Amen. To be glorified. That's future tense. Amen. Amen. So depending on, depending on what stage of the first three you're in, uh, condemnation, or are you in uh, uh, sanctification, uh, or are you in justification, Justified or being sanctified, those those three that we should we should literally be in uh, uh, being justified by Christ, Amen. Amen. Living a holy lifestyle, yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we thank God. We thank God uh, for what He has done. So in looking at our scriptures and and um, just to get this mindset, just to get this mindset tonight, I want to. Um, condition your heart, that we'll be reading quite a bit of scripture, amen, just to open our minds and to get us thinking in the right direction, amen. amen. God's word, it's, it's profitable, it's profitable for us, all right, so if we can read, uh, our reader, to read Romans chapter 8, and I uh, just want to read that full scope of uh, verses 12 through 17. Because those are the verses we're going to be really focusing in on tonight. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And as children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. All right. Amen. Amen. So as those verses that we just read, if I'm sure that you, if you took the time, uh, you can see how many times spirit is mentioned. Uh, spirit is mentioned in those particular verses. Yes. And uh, there's a reason why uh, if, if you come over and you're studying the Bible and certain words are, are, are stated over and over again, we should do what? Pay attention to it. Yeah. Amen? We should pay attention. And the reason why in those particular verses that the Spirit is mentioned over and over is because literally everything we do is controlled by a Spirit. Amen? Amen. We are human. We have a human Spirit. Amen? That, that controls us. That we, we operate by. And through our human Spirit, the Bible even says that God is a spirit. Yeah. Amen? God is a spirit. And because God is a spirit, he can relate to us through our human spirit. Amen? Amen? Amen. That's how God relates to us. Right. That's how we relate to God, through the spirit. Yeah. Amen? And, and the evil, the enemy, the devil, he's a fallen spirit. Yeah. Huh? And that's how he relates to us. <laughs> right. Right. On a spiritual level. Yeah. You follow me? 
And, and everything that we do, we are prompted by a spirit. Uh, and I don't really want to go, because we could spend a whole Bible study on that. But the things that, 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 that in the beginning, when man fell, man fell from grace, uh, from being led by uh, the spirit with God to being led by the spirit uh, of the enemy. Amen. Or even our own human spirit. Right. Amen. Right. Through Christ, Christ repositioned us. Amen. Uh, that's why he says, if any man be in Christ, he's a what? Amen. New creature. All old things, meaning those old habits, have passed away. And behold, all things, meaning new habits, uh, or, or, or we should obtain new habits, uh, new ways of living, new ways of doing things. Huh? And those new ways of doing things are Christ's ways or God's ways. Amen? Amen. All right, good. So we got that point. Amen. So we see here then, uh, when we're talking about uh, being an heir, an heir, now this is, this is very important. If when an individual is born again, and what, what Jesus referred to when he talked to uh, Nicodemus, let's go over there real quick. Uh, the book of um, uh, St. John, uh, chapter number three, being born again. Let's talk about what that means. St. John, chapter number three. And verse number one. Oh, you page is stuck. New Bible. Yeah, break it in. Verse <laughs> one? Yes. There was a man of the Pharisees uh -huh. named Nicodemus. Named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. Yes. So Nicodemus came to Jesus and he was inquiring of Jesus, wanting to gain more insight into how to attain unto heavenly things. And Jesus told him, quite frankly, that you've got to be born again, meaning that you've got to be rejuvenated, become a new creature, turn your life over to God. Huh? And he said in order to do that, notice once again, You've got to be born of the water. He's talking about baptism there. And of the spirit. He's talking about the Holy Spirit. Yes. See, there's spirit once again that, that he's talking about. And he's talking about um, uh, repenting of your old life, the things that you have done wrong, and accepting a new life with Christ. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Be born again of the water and of the spirit. And uh, the disciples, uh, they understood that. They understood that. Because if we go over, let's go over real quick to Acts 2.38. Acts Just read, read the couple of verses above that. Uh, when, when they asked the question about what, what, 
Yeah. Now when they heard this, all right, they, they heard were, the gospel. They were pricked in their hearts. They were pricked in their hearts. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, uh -huh. men and brethren, what shall we do? Yep, meaning what shall we do to get saved? Right. Uh, what shall we do to change our lives? All right, listen. Then Peter said unto them, uh -huh. Repent. Notice what he said, repent. What does the word repent mean? Turn. Turn your heart. Turn, turn the way you were thinking, your old way of thinking, to God's way of thinking. Right. Uh -huh. All right. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Notice, Jesus told Nicodemus, you got to be born of the water, right? Right. So that, that's what he was talking about. The disciples knew that and understood that. So he said, uh, be born of the water. And that water is baptism. All right? Read. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. For the, what does the word remission mean? Or forgiveness. Huh? Right? Remission. Forgiveness of sin. We got to be forgiven huh, for the things that we've done wrong. And I thank God for forgiveness. Amen. I, I thank God for repentance. Yes. Because God is a forgiving God. Yes. Amen. And He once you once you ask Him for forgiveness for what you've done wrong, God will forgive you. Amen. He'll release you from that from that the guilt or the condemnation yes. of that wrongdoing. Amen. 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 Uh, that gets me excited <laughs> because you know uh, uh, we we all have sinned. Uh, and come short of the glory of God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ yes. for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And, and the, the Holy Ghost is a what? Yes. Spirit. Spirit. See, now, now there it is. The water baptism and also receiving the Spirit or the Holy Ghost. You know, to be translated into the kingdom of God. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. So, all right, man, let's go back. Let's go back. All right, let's go back. So, so to be an heir, then, is that you have gone through this process. You have, you have seen that, that, that I'm a sinner that needs to be saved by grace. Uh, for the Bible says, by grace are you saved through what? Faith. Faith. Faith in what? The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen? So, so I, I repent. I repent of my sins. And that, and that repentance of the sins doesn't mean that you're sitting here crying and boo-hooing. Uh, what it really means is, Lord, I need a change. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make a change in my life. Yes. Uh, I remember, I remember distinctly uh, when the Lord started dealing with me about that change. I was sitting at, down there on the dock, drinking a forty. <laughs> I had the, the forty in my hand, uh, and I believe it was a Colt forty-five, that malt liquor. You know, I wanted to get there. I wanted to get there quick. <laughs> And, and I'm sitting there on the dock. I said, Lord, no, no, I'm there in, 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 under that, the, under, what do we call it? When, when you go to the state store, they say, what kind of spirit you get there? Wow. Uh, 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 well, they, wine and spirits. Wine. That's what they call it. Yeah. I was on in that, under that spirit. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lord. But, but somewhere, God's spirit entered in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I said, Lord, there has to be something better than this. Right. Huh? Because I, I didn't like the directory of my life. I was tired of drinking. I was yeah. tired of doing things that were wrong. Yeah. You follow yeah. me? And I ain't going to go into all of that because y'all don't need to know what I was doing. <laughs> That's between me and the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And, and, and I was there repenting. Mm -hmm. uh, needing a change, desiring a change. Yes. That's what repentance is, desiring a change. And you know, uh, uh, when, when the Lord saved me, or, uh, and, uh, I didn't stop repenting. Uh, mm -hmm. When you get saved, you don't stop being a mindset of change. Mm 
Yeah. Huh? Because we want to do better. Am I right? Yeah. I always want to do better. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Jesus. So, well, so when I repented, uh, I, w I came to the house of God and I heard the Bible study and the man of God talked about Christ. Mm -hmm. He told me about Jesus. And I said, I want that life. Amen. And when he went here want to be baptized, I stood up immediately uh, and I got baptized. And I felt the change immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they, I was told about the Holy Spirit uh, being born again, having the Holy Spirit. So I asked the Lord to give me the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And he gave me the Holy Spirit. And, and the, my spirit bore witness to that spirit that was in me. The fruit of the Spirit. What's the fruit of the Spirit? Love, Love joy, joy, peace. Long suffering, gentleness, faith, meekness, yeah, goodness. Yeah. I felt all of that. <laughs> all at one time. Yeah. Uh, it changed my life. Yeah, uh, it changes our life. My brother? I was going to say, God will meet you where you last. Yeah. Wow. He'll meet you right where you last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Right there. Right. Right. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right Yeah. 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 Seeking for him. Seeking for help. Give God a praise. And that, and that's that's for all of us. Amen. I'm sure if you go around this room, we you may not have been drinking, but you had a change in your mind. Yes. You wanted something different. Yeah, Amen. Amen. And that was the Lord, the Spirit of God, hired yeah. that. Yes. Amen. We don't get that, we don't have that mind to repent of ourselves. It is God. It is the goodness of the Lord yeah, yeah. Uh, that leads us to what? Repentance. Repentance. That's why I love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I, 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 don't have a, I don't have a problem repenting. Uh, I don't have a problem with saying I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because I know that that releases the grace of God. Yeah. It releases the power of God. Yeah. It helps us. Yes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So, so then, so then, uh, in looking at our, our, our notes here, then, uh, I want to I want to give you the definition then of being an heir, because that's the that's the subject of our of our lesson, being an heir with Christ. And once you go through that process uh, of repentance and 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 receiving Christ. Uh, asking him to forgive you, repenting of your sins, and being filled with his spirit, get baptized in the name of Jesus. He says a person then, uh, uh, to be an heir, a person uh, legally is entitled to authority, property, or rank of another on, uh, on the person's death. Uh, so when, uh, let's read that scripture in Romans, Romans 6, verses 3 through 7, because this is huge uh, with a child of God, amen, because, because oftentimes the enemy, he wants to beat us up, he wants to continue to make us think that we're not worthy, amen, but it's, but it's important for us to know our standing in Christ. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Know your rights. If you don't know your rights, the enemy will abuse you. Yeah? Hallelujah. All right, Romans 6 and verses 3 through 7. What does it say? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Mm -hmm. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that life is
All right? So, so in that scripture, it tells us that literally uh, when we receive Christ, we are dead with him. Amen? So that tells us then that Christ died. Amen? And not only did he die, but on that third day, he did what? Rose again. He rose again. So he is now alive. Right. Amen? So baptism, water baptism, is symbolic to that. Yeah. It's symbolic to being buried with him. Huh? Literally right. going down and being buried with him. Yeah. And then when you come up out of that water, now you're resurrected yeah. to live a new life. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's, what, that's the sim symbolism of baptism. Yeah. Uh, being buried with Christ uh, and being then raised with him to do what then? Now notice what it says. To walk or to live in the newness of what? Life. Of life. To walk in a new life. Right. I love it when Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Uh, nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but what? Christ right liveth in me. Yes. And he says in the life that I now live in this mortal flesh, I live by the faith that is in Christ Jesus or faith in the Son of God right. who died for me. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you Lord. And didn't he? He died for us, didn't he? Yes. Uh, yes. And then not only did he die for us, but he rose again for us. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and because he rose again, when he got up out of that grave, uh, the Bible literally says he got up with all power, yes. uh, with all authority, yes. didn't he? Uh, and then he not only got up with that power and authority, but he gave that unto us. Yes. Uh, and, it, and it operates in us through the Spirit, yes. through the Holy Ghost, through the anointing. Yes. Amen? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Now, uh, uh, in saying that then, a person is legally entitled, I have here uh, that word there, authority, uh, to his authority. Mm -hmm. When Jesus, he told the disciples, he told them to go to Jerusalem after he had gotten resurrected, and then after he had showed himself alive, those 40 days after his passions or after his suffering, he went to the disciples and he told them, I want you to go to Jerusalem. Uh, uh, and tarry there and wait there uh, until you be endowed with power from on high. Uh, then he told him, you shall receive power after that the what? Holy, Holy, Holy Ghost. So the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Uh, and then he says, after that then you shall be witnesses of me in, in Jerusalem, uh, Judea, and Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the world. Yeah. Uh, didn't he say? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, when he was talking about uh, power, we got to look at that word power in two different um, uh, connotations, what he was saying. What he was saying when he said power, he was talking about authority and power. Mm -hmm. And when he talks about authority, he's talking about positioning. Uh, that that we lost all of our rights through at, uh, Adam and Eve yeah. uh, to, to the kingdom of God, to God's power and authority. Uh -huh. uh, but with Christ, he repositioned us. Yeah. Uh, uh, so now we have authority, legal right. Uh, in other words, if we go to, uh, 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 what is it, Genesis, uh, we don't have to go there. Genesis chapter number 3, and I believe it's verse 21, where it talks about having dominion. Uh, that God said, let us have, uh, uh, God, God says, let us make man in our image and our what? In our likeness. Then he said, let him have what? Dominion, dominion upon the earth. Amen? Amen? And dominion means to rule in authority. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. And, and when, when Christ uh, came, he repositioned us to have that authority. Amen. Back with God. Amen. Adam and Eve, they sold us out. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But Christ, he reestablished 
Yeah. Uh, our authority yeah. with God. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Come on in, somebody. I know that's right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Now, whether I can pray to God yeah. uh, and ask, uh, and it shall be. Yeah. I can seek, uh, you, and it shall, and I shall find. Yeah. I can knock, uh, oh, and the door shall be open. Right. I have a relationship with God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can call him my father. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I can, I can, I can walk in authority. Yeah. Wherein now, when the enemy uh, comes and offers me something that 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 my flesh may desire, now I got authority to say no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, get me behind me. Uh, 
Huh? Yeah. You have power. Exactly. And you only go in there to eat. You're not going there to drink. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> You understand? You're not going there to engage no. uh, in that type of activity. Uh, so, so you know, he, he said, try the spirit by the spirit. Right. Amen. I'm, I'm hearing the word being preached. Huh? I'm, I'm reading the word, huh? and 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 I'm and I'm and I've seen the word in action. So it comes time for me for the rubber to meet the road. Yes. Huh? Put right. up or shut up. Right. <laughs> Now you know, use what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reckon yourself dead. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Building yourself up. Right. Huh? Like, you know, so I walked in there with authority. Yes, yeah. I ate my meal, uh, talked to the people that were there, and left out with the victory. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and didn't condemn anybody else right. that was in the place. Right. Uh, you follow what I'm saying? That's right. Thank you, Lord. And when they order day drinks, I order me a Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's right. Thank Amen. you, Lord. You got you to gotta use what you got. Yes. You got to trust in the Lord. Oh. Am I right? Amen. You got to walk this thing out. Yeah. Uh, come on here. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. I feel the Holy Ghost all day. I was a witness to them without you yeah. saying anything. Thank you, Jesus. My because God. I see you know. Yeah. Yeah. About what you said or what, who right. they thought you were, yeah. you showed who you was. Yeah, well, you showed it right you know, yeah. while you were in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I believe that. Yeah, thank you, Lord. But, 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 but what I was doing, I was witnessing, I'm talking about that instant. Yeah. I was witnessing to what was in me. Right. Uh, that, that was, well, let me put it a different way. That was what was in me was witnessing to that what was in me. Right. Uh, in other words, in other words, I believe uh, uh, that 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 when I was done, uh, that I have power. Right. Right. <laughs> right. That the Holy Ghost can use our power, man. Uh, uh, you can live this thing. Uh, you can walk out this thing. Uh, uh, you know, and that that encouraged me. Right. Uh, to to go further. Yes. Uh, that encouraged me. Uh, anytime that God reveals something to us, uh, it should encourage us right. uh, to go further. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. But but I, I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, thank Amen. you, Lord. My God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Come on, give the Lord. <laughs> I thank God. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. Even the little things. Yeah. Even the little things. Because the Bible said the little foxes destroy the body. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So, so through that's I'm getting ahead of myself in the Bible study. Y'all <laughs> forgive me. We'll get back to it. But, but even the little things yeah. that that uh, uh, some people will call no harm or no foul, but the Spirit is directing you not to do it, right. uh, and then you not do it. Yeah. Right. Uh, that's a witness yeah. that's uh, to the power of God. Right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because there's some things that 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 the uh, uh, the Holy Ghost it will lead us and guide us not to do right. or to do, uh, and then which is telling us or the Holy Spirit is telling us to do. It's a witness uh, to the power and authority of God. Yes. Uh, it's a witness to your submission. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, to God's authority. Yes. Uh, and that's something to rejoice about. Right. Uh, that's something to give God glory about. Uh, being submitted to God. Uh, truly calling Him your Lord. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, let me move on. I'm, 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 I'm kind of going too far in my Bible study. All right, All right. Now, 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 so then, being an heir, then, we entitled, we have that authority. Yeah. Uh, then we have the property. Uh, and that, that property is the king. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and then God blesses us down here uh, on this earth uh, with these goods that we have, and we become stewards over it. But God is still, the, like the scripture I love what David said, uh, the earth is the Lord's. And what? The fullness, the fullness the thereof. Amen. Amen. So everything uh, belongs to the Lord, but he allows us to be stewards uh, over 
everything that he, has, he gives us, if right. you allow me to say it that way. Yeah. And then uh, we got to realize that uh, 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 we have rank uh, in God. Amen. We have positions in God. Amen. When we uh, receive of the Spirit, He literally translates us uh, into the household of faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. The family of God. Yeah. Amen. And let's look at that real quick. Let's look at that. Uh, uh, I believe I have it in 1 Peter uh, 2 and 9. Amen. I hope that's where it is. 1 Peter 2 and 9. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. My, my, my. That ye are chosen now notice, this is our position. We are chosen. He chose us. When did he choose us? Before the foundation of the world. <laughs> Before we were uh, embryos in our mother's womb, he chose us. Glory. Amen. Way from the beginning. He chose us. Is that? Read. Amen. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, uh -huh. and holy nation. A holy nation. A peculiar people. We're peculiar. That means we're, we're peculiar in, 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 in the way that we operate, in the way that we live. We're spectacles. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. All right, Read. That you should show forth the praises of him. Yes. Now, now that's huge. So, so God, God literally sets us free uh, from serving the enemy uh, and makes us indebted to serve Him. Amen. So I'm not free to serve myself. I'm free to serve God. Right. Amen. And that's huge. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Oh, I think that's it. All right. Now, now let's go over then because I wanna, I want really, really want to hit this in the book of Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter number one. All right. I want to, I want to really uh, bring out our newness and who we are, and and I, I, I want to encourage you, really encourage you. To study Ephesians chapter 1 and 2. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we, we can live out this new life. Amen. Amen. That's important. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right, read. Now, notice, he has blessed us with what? All spiritual blessings. All spiritual blessings. Why? Because God is a spirit. We connect to God through the spirit. Right. So he's blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Where? In Christ. In, Christ. in, Christ. in heavenly places. Yes. In Christ. All right, read. According as he has chosen us in him. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. and without blame before him in love. Now that's God's aim for you. Uh, that's why he gives you the spirit. Yeah. That's why he cleansed you. That's why God, uh, Christ died for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that you can be holy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And without blame before God, how? In love. In love. Amen. Yeah. And he chose you for that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That, was his, that was his only purpose. Uh, that's your only reason for existence, to give God glory. Amen? Amen. To live to live for God. Yes. Amen? Now, some people can't receive that. <laughs> Amen? Amen? But that's truly the Ooh. purpose why you are here. Right. Amen? To live uh, according to God's plan for your life. Yeah. Amen? Amen. All right, how many believe that? I believe that. Hey! <laughs> Hallelujah! Because all of your blessings huh, is, is connected to you walking with
with him. Huh? Yeah, uh, uh, when I say that, all of your provision uh, is connected to walking with him. Amen? Now, I'm going to say this, and I hope I don't get into trouble. Uh, round 11, uh, from, from, from Erie to uh, uh, Youngstown, Ohio, no gas stations. Uh, uh, if you travel that, no gas stations. Uh, so, so it's not conducive uh, for, for people that drive that route because there's no provision on that. Uh, uh, and that's where uh, uh, I liken that to people who live without God. Uh, you're, li you're going in a way where there's no provision. Uh, but if you travel I-90, there's gas stations all along. Uh, and there's provision for you. Amen? Uh, so you can make the journey. Amen? So if you're traveling mile 11, you better fill up. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. It means it makes a difference. Yes, yes. Uh, blessings come to you when you're traveling the road God has prepared for you. Yes. Uh, uh, I threw that in there for free. Yes. <laughs> yes. I read. Now notice that word, adoption. Uh, you've been adopted. Yeah. Uh, uh, that means now God is your father. Uh, you've been adopted into the royal family. Yeah. Amen. Read. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Now notice, you should be to the praise of God. Your life should, should be a praise unto God. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. My Lord. Live a, a praiseworthy life. Yeah. Amen. I love it when my brethren say, I'm the righteousness of God. <laughs> hey, uh, you call yourself the righteousness of God. Right. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. Read. Wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Now, we, we've been accepted uh, in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Uh, before we were rejected, we had no hope. We were without Christ. Right. Uh, but when we received Christ, uh, God, uh, through him, he has made us accepted in God. Amen. Read. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Uh, we've been redeemed through the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Read. For the forgiveness of sin. My God. According to the riches of his grace. Uh-huh. Wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and truth. Uh, now, he, through the Spirit, through the Holy Ghost, he, he makes us he makes us wise. Yes. Uh, and what does the word prudent mean in essence? Uh, uh, he, make, he makes you wise, and prudent really means he gives you the ability to make wise choices. Amen? To be prudent in your thinking, to make wise choices. Amen? Yes. Thank you, Lord. That you, you realize that... Uh, I can't do, I can't keep doing this. This is why I'm bumping my head, so I'm going to change. Yeah. I'm going to do it differently. Right. Amen? You follow me? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. Wherein he has abounded toward us in all wisdom and truth, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, mm -hmm. according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Mm -hmm. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Yeah. Being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own. Now, now in Christ we have obtained this. Yeah. Uh, an inheritance. Yeah. Uh, don't be like Esau uh, that, that sold his inheritance for a bowl of soup and some linen. Uh, 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 know your, what, what you have in Christ. Amen. And value that. Yeah. I read. What verse are you in? Oh, Jesus. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, mm -hmm. that we should be to the praise of his glory. Uh, 
God. Now, God wants you to be to the praise of his glory. He wants you to live. Amen? Amen. And, and, and that, that's far as we're going to read that. But I want you all to, to, to continue to study uh, Ephesians 1 and 2. Because we, gotta, we, got, we only got a half hour left. And I want to I get this in. Amen? But you see the pattern. Huh? That, that in Christ, we become new creatures. Yes. Amen. We've got an inheritance. Amen. Amen? Uh, and we and He's given us power and authority to to be uh, 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 live a life that that praises God. Amen. That's valuable to God. Yes. Amen. He freed us. Amen. He helped us. Am I right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let's go back over to Romans. Uh, Romans uh, chapter eight. So we see here then, uh, because of the work of Christ, through the Spirit, we are free. Amen? we free. That uh, they that are led by the Spirit of God, uh, they are the sons of God. That connects to being a part of the household of God and the family of God. Right. Whom the Son is set free is what? Free indeed. free indeed. All right. So now that I'm, I'm free and I know how I got to be free, I know that I'm an heir and a joint heir with Christ. Amen. I know that I got power. Uh, that I know that I'm walking in authority. Amen. But, but now I still uh, are in this body. Amen. And in this body, uh, the enemy still works on us uh, and tries to bring us into submission. Amen. I got some desires. Even though I'm a new creature in Christ, I still have to overcome some, some, some evil desires. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And God, and God, and, and you know, uh, I often wonder, I say, well, Lord, I can even just take all those evil desires out of us uh, in the beginning. Uh, and just, just let me, you know, be an angel. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not his purpose. That's not his will. Amen. He wants you to live by his power. Uh, and he wants everybody to know that you're living by his power. Uh, and through his authority. Remember what Jesus says? You shall be witnesses uh, unto me. Uh, God needs you as a witness. Uh, so, that, so that everybody will know uh, that you is not you, but it's the Christ that lives within. Amen. Uh, me, when I'm going through hard times uh, and, and, it, and it seems like all hell is breaking in my life, but yet I keep my mind, uh, yet, yet I'm able to be continue to be faithful. Uh, that's not me. That's Christ living in me. Uh, because my will would have been to go after that thing. Uh, but, but, but it's no more I, uh, but Christ that lives with me. Uh, uh, that's God. Uh, I want you to be a witness. Am I right? Amen. Uh, let me, I'm sure we can go around this room. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and all I would really ask for is testimonies of victory. Uh, thank you, Lord, that how you have overcome uh, certain uh, temptations in your life. Uh, and, and those, by you overcoming it, uh, those, those temptations... It, it, it lends itself to the power of God. Amen. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and you know, those greater uh, 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 testimonies uh, is, is when other people uh, know that you were struggling. Uh, but then see the turnaround. Then see the change. Uh, my God, those, those are the testimonies I love. People saw, saw what I used to be. Uh, thank you, Lord, and then realize I'm not what I used to be. Amen. Uh, 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 something in me uh, changed my life. Yes, uh, hallelujah. That's, that's what we should want. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. My God in heaven. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, uh, you know, sometimes I'm around the, the, the little, little children that's in the, that's in the preschool, and I was talking to this one uh, little boy, and I'm just listening to him, and he's putting out words of knowledge, 
And I'm like, wow, how did he get that? You know, <laughs> somebody put that in him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody taught him that. Yeah. Amen. And, yeah. and, 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 you know, and, uh, and he, we're talking about it. And as he's talking about it, I'm just getting more happy and happier because, because I see something in him. Yeah. Uh, something in him. Huh? Now, when we live this thing, what about God? When we as children of God, mm -hmm. huh, and we live what he put in us, oh my God, I know God bless us. Yeah. Huh? When, when we live this thing, right. huh, and do the things that, that he desires us to do, right. huh, I know God is rejoicing. Yeah. I know God is saying, hey amen, that's my child, that's my son, that's my daughter. Huh? Amen. 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 I want to hear him say. In fact, I practice him. Him. I practice it myself, saying it uh, uh, for him. <laughs> well done, <laughs> thy good and faithful servant. Uh, come on in. Uh, thank you, Lord. I, I, I look in the mirror uh, and I and I practice hearing him say that to me. Uh, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. It is the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, to, to hear him say it himself. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> My brother. I was just throwing in there real quick. You know, I had a pastor that used to teach me, don't get stuck in the hallelujahs. He's yeah. Dead. Because the apostle Paul wrote most of the gospel uh -huh. from the prison cell. Yes. And he was gracious to be doing it. He felt blessed yes. to be in that position exactly. because I want to remind everybody as I was talking to Monty on the way over here, persecution's mm -hmm. coming. Yes. This world that we're living in out here is, get, is crashing down. It's, it's coming. And the only reason that he's raised us up to the level that he has is so that we can be gracious as we walk through these times. Yes. No doubt in my mind. Right. I'm here from New York, and you talk about evil. Yeah. The land of Sodom and Gomorrah. I came there. I believe it. Here, and I too was delivered from drugs and alcohol back in 2000. Yeah. I was. He's blessed me with 23 years. Amen. Amen. I want to go back to, to 8 and 12. I want to finish up with that. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh. All right, we've said everything that we said during this Bible class to get to this point. Amen. He said, therefore, brethren, what? We are debtors not to the flesh. Now, you don't owe the flesh anything. You're not in debt to the flesh. Amen. But you are in debt to God. Yes. Amen. You've been bought with a price. Yes. Huh? You owe God your life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We owe him our lives. Don't yes. We? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And that's the reason why he freed you. When he, when he, when, when he dealt with Israel and he told Israel, uh, uh, Moses, to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Uh, and, and, and Moses said, and Pharaoh said, why? And he said, so that we may worship God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so he let you go so that you can worship him. 
live a life dedicated to him. Yes. Amen? All right? So, so you're not dedicated to the flesh. And when he's talking about the flesh there, he's talking about your evil desires. Uh, we still have evil desires uh, working within us. Amen. Amen. Our feet haven't left. That's the most saints say. Your feet hasn't left the ground yet. <laughs> huh? So you still have those things working in you. Right. How do you know it? Let somebody pressure you enough. Huh? <laughs> You'll see it. Right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let you go through something a lot enough. You, it'll show up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Either, either it'll show up physically, or the thought will come in your mind. Oh, yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Therefore, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. Uh huh. For if ye live after the flesh, you shall die. Now, if I live uh, in in essence to uh, my desires, the only thing that that's going to bring me is what? Death. Death. Amen. Amen. The wages of sin is what? Death. Death. Amen. And uh, uh, we don't have time, but, but if we go to uh, John, I've got it on there, John chapter number uh, 1, verses 14 and 15, uh, uh, dealing with temptation. Uh, when, when an individual, uh, temptation doesn't come from God. God, God doesn't tempt you from, with evil. Yes. Uh, and then he says, when you're tempted with evil, you're enticed by your own lust. Uh, and when lust is conceived, it brings forth sin. And then when sin is finished, it brings forth what? Death. Death. Amen? Thank you, Lord. But Christ gave us victory over that. Yeah. Amen? All right, read. For if you live after the flesh, you shall die. Uh -huh. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. All right, so we're not debtors to the flesh. Uh, to be in subjection to the flesh. But then he says, we must mortify the deeds of the body. Now, I'm going I'm to work on that just for a minute. Uh, to, to mortify, uh, that got me, it got my attention when he said deeds of the body. Amen? Deeds of the body. And, and that, that is, is, is connected to evil desires, but deeds of the body are dealing with actions, sure. uh, fulfilling it. Amen. And and the Lord, the Lord opened up my mind. Uh, where the scripture up above in Romans chapter eight, up above number one, it says, "There is therefore now no condemnation right. to them that are what in yes. Christ Jesus." Then He said, "To them who walk not after the." Flesh, but after what? The spirit. the spirit. For the spirit of life uh, that is in Christ. Notice, he said, have made me what? Free, Free from the what? Oh, Law so of sin and death. Now, now that got me. Uh, the, Lord, the, Lord, the Lord took me and was showing me something. The law of sin and death. We free from that. But yet, people sin. Huh? And, and what he's saying is, is that uh, uh, we operate under another law, huh? That, that if we sin, we don't live a lifestyle of sin. Huh? But if we sin, we, and we, and if we confess our sins, huh? he's what? Faithful and just. Uh, to do what? To forgive us of our sins, right? And the blood of Jesus does what? It cleanses us from what? All, all unrighteousness. Huh? Huh? So, so, that, so that then, now notice, I want y'all to stay with me here because here's the point. So, so if I'm doing something wrong, uh, I'm faithful uh, to confess, and then the blood of Jesus, it cleanses me from all unrighteousness, then uh, there's where Paul says, then I should mortify the deeds. Huh? Which means then, i got to get an attitude in my mind. Huh? I've experienced, I want y'all to get me, I've experienced, uh, I, I, I made a 
mistake, if you allow, if it was a mistake, sometimes we do it on purpose. <laughs> but, 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 but I did it. Huh? But, but now, you know, I've confessed it. Huh? I, and I believe that the blood of Jesus has cleansed me from that unrighteousness. Now I have to get this what I wrote here. Huh? Uh, um, uh, an attitude of the mind. Now I got to fight against huh? those lustful desires. I got to fight against, I got to get the mindset huh, to fight against the attitude, to fight against those lustful desires and not give in to them as they are revealed to us by the Spirit. In other words, the, uh, 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 it's important now huh, for me, I should realize, we should realize that it's important huh, for us to be led by the Spirit of God. Huh? That's the reason why he gives you the Holy Ghost. Huh? That's the reason why the Spirit of God dwells in you. Huh? It's for the importance to be led by it. Amen? So, so, so now I'm, I'm cognizant. I should be cognizant of the voice of the Holy Spirit, huh? of the Holy Ghost. The, uh, 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 my flesh wants me to lie. Uh, and I know I shouldn't be lying. The Holy Ghost said, don't lie, Frank, tell the truth. Uh, mm -hmm. I should be led by that spirit. Right. Uh, uh, you follow me? Yeah. Uh, my, 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 my spirit tells me to steal. Uh, I, 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 I should be led by the spirit. Frank, don't steal. Uh, I'm going to bless you. Uh, uh, don't steal. Don't do it. Don't say it. Uh, and y'all know how we are. Sometimes we want to gossip. Uh, put that information out there. Uh, and then I know if you walk in with God, God, the Holy Ghost say, don't say it. Don't, don't say it. Yes. Uh, don't say it. Uh, and it's important then that, that I, I know I got authority. I know I got power. I got to shut my mouth. Yes. Uh, I got to shut my mouth. Amen. Amen. That's being led by the Spirit of God. Yes. Amen. I got to be led by the Spirit of God because in that I'm demonstrating that I am a son of God. Yes. Huh? I'm a son of God with power. Amen. 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 And so therefore, when it says, here it is, mortify the deeds. Amen. Amen. Put to death. Amen. How do you mortify the deeds? Put them to death. Is, is that you stop doing them. You be cognizant of the Spirit. Yes. You being led by the Spirit. Right. You being conscious of the Spirit. Yes. Amen? Yes. Thank you, Lord. In other words, you're, you're, you're sensitive to the Spirit yes. uh, and not your flesh. Right. How many of us, how many of us have done things that we regret? Now, I ain't talking about sin, making decisions. Say, so, oh, man, I shouldn't have made that decision. Yes. Uh, uh, and, and the Holy Spirit uh, said, well, you didn't ask me for help. You just did that on your own. Uh, that was all you. Uh, well, because you didn't acknowledge me. Uh, you didn't acknowledge me. Uh, I'm here as a paraclete uh, to lead and to guide you, to walk alongside you. I'm here to advocate for you. Uh, thank you, Lord. And we have to be cognizant. Uh, of the leading of the Spirit of God, yeah. uh, depending upon it, uh, trusting in it. Amen? Yeah. Thank you. We need that. Yeah. Am I right? How many of y'all know that's true? Yeah. <laughs> I, need, I need the Spirit. Yeah. Uh, and I need the Spirit to lead me and guide me. Yeah. Amen? And will the Spirit force me? No. No. I have to give in to it. So I have to have a different mindset. He said, let this mind <laughs> be in you, uh, which was also in Christ Jesus. Uh, you got to have the mind of Christ. Uh, you got to have the spirit of Christ. Am I right? Uh, you got to humble yourself uh, beneath the mighty hand of God in order to live this life. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Uh, no more I. Uh, but Christ that lives with us. 
Amen. Amen. My brother. I think I heard Sister Moore. Somebody back there said let. Let. So, in, in other words, it's a choice. Like you said, choice. We have to, you know, let this mind. Yeah. Of Christ. Yeah. You know, we, we have to allow it. Allow it. Yeah. Allow it. Yes. Because there's the things in me that want to kick up. Sure. Huh? There's a, I'm, I reckon that there's a manhood in me huh? <laughs> that wants to kick up sometimes. Uh, they don't want to be disrespected. Uh, but uh, uh, the scripture says when, when Jesus was reviled, he reviled out again. Uh, uh, thank you, Lord. And I ain't telling people walk around being jelly back. Uh, I'm not saying that. Uh, but there's times where you got to humble yourself. Uh, and, and the Spirit will let you do that. Now, conversely, there's times where you got to stand up, cry loud. And spread up. Huh? And the Spirit will allow you to do that. If you be led by the Spirit. Amen. Because huh? sometimes we talk ourselves out of stuff. Yeah. Say, ah, they ain't gonna want to hear me. Ah, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that person. You know what I mean? But God wants you to be that person. Huh? <laughs> right. You follow me? Look at Nehemiah. He wanted him to be that person. Huh? Daniel wanted him to be that person. David wanted him to be that person. Right. Huh? Thank you, Lord. You follow what I'm saying? So if you don't do it, huh, who going to do it? Huh? When David went against Goliath and his brothers was telling him to sit down, he said, is there not a cause huh, for us to stand up for God? Right. Huh? We got to realize that there's something that God gives you huh, that it places on your plate. Uh, just for uh, uh, his glory, and he wants you to do it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, my God, y'all with me tonight? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Now, now let's let's move on. Where, where we at? We almost done. Where we at? What verse we? Huh? All right, read. Now, now notice, notice the emphasis now. Remember I said if he keeps talking about a thing, uh, he's putting emphasis on it. Uh, now notice what he said. Mastic, uh, uh, put, let this sink in your mind. Read that verse again. For as many as are led by the Spirit. Notice. For as many that are what? Amen. Led by what? The Spirit. Spirit. Uh-huh. The Spirit of God. Read. They are the sons of God. All right. Now, conversely. What if I'm not being led by the Spirit of God? I'm not his son. I'm not his son. Is that a true statement? Yeah. Can we deduce that? Yeah. Inductive reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that a logical argument? Yeah. Uh, so therefore, look at the importance of being led then by the Spirit. If I want to be connected to God, uh, I got to be led by His Spirit. Huh? If I'm not led by his spirit, I lose my connection. I lose my sonship. Yes. Huh? I can't afford to lose my sonship. Amen. I can't afford to lose my connection. Huh? I've come too far by faith. Yes, huh? I need him. Yes. Huh? As the deer panted after the water broke, I need him. Yes, huh? Y'all with me? Yes. So, so, so in order then to keep my connection, I've got to maintain my connection with the Holy Spirit. When he, the spirit of truth, has come, yes. he will do what? Lead you and guide you into what? Oh, All Lord. truth. Amen? Hallelujah. And he won't speak of himself. Yes. Hallelujah. Speak of that which he heard from Christ. Yes. Uh, my head. Yes. Amen. Who's the head of the body? Christ. Yes. Amen. Not Frank, not my flesh. Not your flesh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Y'all with me tonight? Amen. There you go. I'm trying to. The Lord, the Lord wants you to see uh, because he, he wants us to go to a new level. Yes. Uh, 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 the importance of being led by the Spirit. If you was on fire, they'd tell you to stop, drop, and roll. Amen? Huh? Thank you, Lord. The, 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 the Holy Ghost 
and say, and say, I, 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 I want to counsel you. I want to talk to you. I want to lead you and guide you huh, into all truth. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and see, now the Holy Ghost pushing me here. He said, and, and tell them this, huh, that, that you being led by me, the Spirit, doesn't mean that you won't go into trouble. Huh? But know this, huh, that if you go into trouble, I'll lead you out of it. <laughs> I'll make a way of escape. I'll show you the exit. Hallelujah. Huh? Oh, Why? Because the Spirit is there to glorify God. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah, my God. Lord, help us tonight. Thank you, Lord. Why? Uh, 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 uh. That's the reason why this next verse is coming up. Read the next verse. What's it say? Uh, now, now notice, no reason for you to fear if you're being led by the Spirit. Uh, don't, uh, fear has torment. Fear has bondage. Uh, you haven't received that Spirit. Amen? Thank you. Lord. So, 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 as that song says, nobody told me the road would be easy. Uh, but I don't believe that he was. Brought me this far to do what? Lead. To lead me. Yea, though I walk through the valley uh, of the shadow of death. Uh, notice what David said. I will fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Uh, now, now, that has to be a mindset. Uh, you got to put that mindset in your mind. Uh, Y'all with me? Uh, you got to. And now, how do you do that? You... You meditate on the scriptures. Huh? The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Now those scriptures, that has to be in your mind. Huh? And then you have to practice it. Huh? You got to practice it. Huh? Until it becomes a part of your personality. Who you are. Huh? Trouble comes, God got it. Hmm. Huh? A door closes, I know another one's going to open. Yeah, huh? I'm sick in my body, he's going to heal me. Yeah. If he don't heal me, yet will I see him. Yeah. Huh? That's the mindset. I won't give up. Yeah. I won't give in. Yeah. I won't turn around. Yeah. Huh? I love, uh, you know, I read it. Uh, 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 when you talk about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, when you get ready to be thrown in the fiery furnace, right. that's powerful. Huh? They say, oh, king, we ain't even mindful to answer you, man. Talking to the king. Huh? We ain't even mindful to tell you nothing. We ain't real. Oh, come on. Huh? Thank you, Lord, because the God we serve, yeah. huh? the God that we serve, right. notice, he's well able to deliver us. Huh? And then if he doesn't deliver us, he's still able. Huh? He's still able. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, so if I do, if we do die in here, notice that that was just his will, but he he could have got us out. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Huh? That's the mindset. Thank you, Lord. We gonna have trouble. We we fighting the fight. Amen. Huh? But yeah. but but don't go into the fight. With the spirit of fear. Yeah. Right? Sharks smell blood in the water. Yeah. The yeah. devil smell your fear. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You can it already when you do that. I'm telling you. Right. I'm telling you. See now you didn't you didn't man, you didn't took me back. You didn't <laughs> took me back to high school. <laughs> Amen. And I was uh uh I was on the track team. And uh and there was there was like Oh man, we, on our track team, there was like all of uh, what do you call them? State champions yeah. on the team. Yeah. You know, uh, what was it, Lavon rolling? Oh, 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 couple of them. Oh, oh man. Richie. Oh, yeah. Richie. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, 18 oh my God. Rob. Rob. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, yeah, man. And these guys could run. They were like stallions. Yeah. <laughs> 
Father, we had and then Huh? Lee Barney was there. Thank you, Lord. I ain't trying to date myself. <laughs> but all them cats was on there. My God, and, and one of them got hurt, right? That was pretty good, you know? And then the coach said, hey, Quinn, get up in there. <laughs> so I'm looking at them guys. I said, no, 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 I ain't doing it, coach. I ain't doing it. Uh, I'm just going to get dusted. I ain't doing it. Uh, and then, you know, he looked at me with a stern face. He said, if you don't do it, you're off this team. And I said, well, I don't want to be off the team. <laughs> so you're right. uh, but, but, and I, and I got down there, uh, and they said, on your mark, get set, ready to go. Woo, I take off, and they take off before me. I came in dead last. Uh, but, but I made it. That's what you're talking about. That's right. You got out there. Yeah, just like I said, I made it. Uh, you follow me? I believe what kept me back was fear. Yeah, I was afraid. Uh, that fear stopped me uh, from really performing. I wish I could get them guys now. <laughs> Six of you in there. Yes. I believe I'll take it. Uh, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, I seen some of them walking around. Right <laughs> What's going to happen? Ezekiel says it, huh? that when the enemy is revealed to us for real, mm -hmm. we're going to say, is that him or is that the spirit that was trying to uphold us, take us down? Uh -huh. huh? The spirit of the, Ezekiel says that. We're going to say that. Huh? Huh? So, so overcome your fear with love, mm -hmm. with your love for Jesus. Huh? With your love for the gospel. Amen. Perfect love. Woo! Does what? Cast it out. Cast out what? All fear. All fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. My God. Fear is natural. It's in us. But we got to overcome it. Am I right? Amen. When God gave the direction to Joshua, what did he tell him? Be strong. Be very courageous. Be very courageous. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Only be thou strong. <laughs> my brother. Yeah, my, man, my man is Martin Lawrence. So I was watching a movie where he said courage. You know what I'm talking about courage. Uh -huh. He says courage is not the absence of fear. Uh -huh. He said courage is the presence of fear. Yeah. But with the will to go on. Go on. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Don't let it stop. Right. Don't let it stop. Amen. Don't let it stop. Mother Davis, don't let it stop. <laughs> yeah! Corey, don't let it stop. Huh? Am I right? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Then, you know, uh, uh, I'm sure Pastor, Pastor Curtis can attest to this. The, the bigger the giant, the greater the victory. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bye, bye, bye. All right, let's finish up. Um, we're verse me. I read it. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, uh -huh. but you have received the spirit of adoption. Now notice, it says you received the spirit of adoption. You're part of the, the family of God. Read. Whereby we cry out of God. God is your Father. Read. The Spirit itself bears witness without our spirit. Now, 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 the Holy Ghost, notice it says, it does what? Bears witness, bears witness with our spirit. Now notice it didn't say to our spirit. It says with our spirit. Because the two have become one. Amen. Read. That we are the children of God. Amen. That we are the children of God. Read. And the children uh -huh. are heirs. Then we're heirs. Heirs of God. Heirs of God. And joint heirs with Christ. And we're joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him. Uh-huh. Amen. So you got to suffer with him. If you don't suffer with him, you won't do what? Reign with him. That's why he gives you power and authority. Amen. That's why he tells you to be led by the Spirit. 
Amen. It's important for us. If you don't get anything out of this Bible study tonight, get out of this Bible study. Lord, I want to hear your voice so I can be led by your spirit. Yeah. My brother? This is verse 15, Bishop. I was just thinking when it says, um, we have not re received the spirit of bondage again under fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption. Yes. I have a cousin who, um, he was adopted uh -huh. into our family. Yeah. And when he, I don't know where they got him from or nothing, but when he came home with my mom's cousin, the boy was scared to go to the bathroom, go to the refrigerator, anything. But she had to sit him down and let him know, this is your house now. See? You are in this family. You are free to go to the refrigerator. If you got to go to the bathroom, just go. You ain't yeah. going to ask. You ain't got to. Just do it. You're in the family. Yeah. You have a right to do these things. Yeah. You live here. You live here. And that's, I was just thinking that, you know, you're free now. You're you're in the family. You're in the family. Right. You live here. This is hey, your... That's it. So don't live under the spirit of bondage. Right. Amen. Don't live under the spirit of fear. The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear. That's not of God. Right. Amen. Doubt is not of God. Not of God. Amen. That's the enemy. Confusion is not of God. No. He's not the author of confusion. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, he that cometh to God must first believe that he what? He is. is. That God is, that he can, uh, and he's a rewarder to yeah. them that what? Diligently seek him. My God. My God. That's you. Yes. Get the mindset that I'm going to be led by the Spirit of God. In fact, say it's necessary, it's necessary. <laughs> for me to be led by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because I don't want to die. Amen. Amen. Right. And then when the Spirit says something to me, uh, you got power to humble yourself. Amen. Amen. And to obey the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I got it. All right. We got the Bible study. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Any questions? Go ahead. Oh, question. Well, all right. I just really wanted you to make a statement. I didn't really want you to ask a question. But you can do both. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Because the son comes first, and then the discipleship. You're turning into uh, the, the, the image of Christ, if you allow me to say that. So, we, so if, this is not I really just dropped my mind. Go ahead. So it makes me wonder, so it's one of those examples of where the father was. Yes. He was always the son, even though he wasn't in mind with what his father wanted. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. No. No. That's good. That's good. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Spiritual relationship is different in the sense um, that that uh, everybody born in this world uh, is is uh, a child of God, Amen. Because He started the offspring, Amen. Thank you, Lord. But but in the spiritual sense, uh, those that are led by the Spirit of God, 
Those are the ones that are going to uh, operate in his will. Huh? And then you spoke about uh, the prodigal son and his sonship. And uh, when he went, uh, that word prodigal means wayward, right? When he went wayward, uh, uh, if you, if you, when you study that, that was all controlled by a spirit. Huh? And, and then God used supernatural things, spiritual things, to get his attention, huh? to bring him back into alignment. Amen? And uh, uh, to bring him back in alignment because he was a spiritual son. Amen? So in other words, what did this prodigal son do to get back into alignment? goes directly with the Bible class. He repented. Amen? He repented. And he turned. Amen? And, and he recognized that, that the deeds of the flesh, amen, was operating against him. Uh, and he turned his heart uh, back to God. Perfect example of what I'm talking about about the Bible class when we, uh, we got to mortify the deeds of the flesh. Yes. He put it, the deeds of his flesh under subjection. Amen. My, my people in my father's house are living better than what I'm living right now. I'm just going to humble myself and go back to my father and just be a hired servant. Right. Uh, and Amen. then the love of the father saw him afar off to, to welcome him back home yeah. as a son. Yeah. Uh, Amen. Amen. Brother, that's what that whole parable is about. It's really about the brother, how he treated uh, the brother that came home. Yes. Yes. Uh, and we gotta, we gotta treat people that come home backsliders. Right. Uh, um, God put them back in place. Uh, he didn't put him as a servant. Uh, so we gotta, we gotta, you know, people that, that God restores. Uh, thank you, Lord. You follow what I'm saying? Uh, we got. We can't be looking at them as second rate. Right. Uh, uh, they're restored. God restored them. Right. God renewed them. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Uh, Y'all with me? Yes. Thank you. Let me cut off the, the, the tape for a minute. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we thank God for the anointing. Let me just.